This is so nice. And all the colour of the water. Howdy, howdy. We are finding secluded beaches and epic scenes. This is just unreal. <gasps> is that a carry? Is that a carry? <laughs> I never find these on beaches. Ever. Uh, yeah. Incredible water. Call me Brody Moss and slap me silly. Literally, you can spot reef from the boat. Look at this. Onwards down there. That is unreal. Oh, we're gonna remember this for a long time. Okay, we've been checking out some beaches and we're gonna check out some more, but we've just pulled up to this water and I haven't seen water like this in a very long time. So we want to jump in, like we just can't not jump in. Some fellas over there who said hello and I recognize the boat and know the channel and they just said they saw a few fish. So appreciate the tips, boys. This is ridiculous, five meters. I cannot believe this, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Okay, we're just putting over to a to a spot that Daniel Mann kindly sent me. So it's uh, this little spot here we're just pulling up to, this, this darker bit. He said, I don't know if it's covered by sand or if it's still there, but man, I can definitely see it. It's right here. And uh, thanks, man. It's, it's called uh, Jesse's Reef. Apparently that's because his brother, Jesse, hates diving it. So damn, we're gonna check out your spot and see what, it's, uh, what fish it has. Remember, this is a bit more shallow, mellow, so don't expect anything crazy, but still appreciate it, mate. Uh, oh yeah, of course, come on. Shouts to Dan. Dan's probably got the best purest spearfishing channel on YouTube, I would say, subjectively. So go check it out. I'll leave it somewhere. Anyway, let's get in the water. How good does it feel to dive in? Not much. Oh my god, it's amazing. Feeling so free. It's so nice, even the ten. Wow. Okay, let's swim off and follow that reef around that way. Hang on, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Feel the music, the rhythm, a heart on a mission. Can't fight the feeling, and I'm not denying it. No, so pretty. Very 
big, eh? Wow, with you next to it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Imagine you next to it. <laughs> you gotta do it. Get over your fear. Okay. No, you can. Seriously, that's okay. Wait, just go as close as you feel comfortable. I'll get a photo. <laughs> Nothing on my mind but the being true. I might have a broken heart, but I won't hold back tonight, tonight, tonight. Came to an end abruptly when we just got peppered with uh, blue bottles on the face, on here, all over my hands. Gotta love it. <laughs> For the prices you pay. Alright, I'm hopping in. <laughs> wow, it's so shallow. Fish everywhere here. Pike and stuff. <laughs> Holy shit, this is cool, snapper. I just missed on. I was like, what the hell? off in the distance took a sh I was just not expecting it Sorry Dan, I uh, think I disappointed you. Jumped into a few of those marks and just then... <laughs> oh, it's dark. Oh God. Just then I rolled into a school of uh, snapper and got in. I was not expecting that. They're all around me. It was like half a breath hold. Yeah, excuse after excuse. And I just go to aim and then it was quite a long shot. Took it, missed, spewing. Especially when there's a fair few at a big school. I was trying to pick out the one. Anyway, I don't know how I missed that. But then... Hello. <laughs> I get in, and then I see a squid, and of course I'm able to aim and hit a small squid, and not hit a snapper. 
Did you notice what actually happened with that snapper? I only just noticed right now in the edit. I didn't actually kind of aim wrong. For the first time, my spear actually derailed off my gun and I was in like shoot round corners mode or in this case, shoot into the sand mode. Stay vigilant folks, bearing all on here. I try to leave my ego at the door on this channel and show you all the haps and the mishaps. If you appreciate watching my misfortune as that would have been a PB snapper and a bit of a salute to Dan. But at least when occasionally things do fall into place, it makes that even sweeter. Anyway. Oh, the eyes are so cool. Yeah, cool green eyes, some green calamari, I think they're called. Yeah, man, they should cook up really nice. All right, we best head off. Sunny's getting lower in the sky. It's uh, so beautiful out here. It's really quite sad to leave, actually, knowing that you might not be back here for quite a while. Warm, 27 degree water, perfect temperature. Just feel absolutely perfect in the water. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. But it's been a cool trip so far. Hi, that's real. Inwards we go. Check out this. When two waters collide. Wow. Better speed up. Ooh. Wow. What the heck? Well, that was weird. Now look at it. Mostly cleaned up. These chickens are so funny when they run. Check this out. All right, it's just been tenderized by giving it a bit of a hammer. Basically, just want to cut these up into rings. Come on, mate. Still surprised I actually uh, hit this thing. In its defense though, I was sitting still for quite a while while I aimed up, but I wish I got that snapper. All right, it's pretty simple. Got some corn flour. Now note, don't use other flour. You need corn flour or rice flour, something really light. See that? It's light as, mate. You, like, just, just trust me, <laughs> you don't want to use the heavier flour. I've, I've tried it, this is much better. Mate, of course we're doing salt and pepper but a little bit of a Lindley twist on it. Plenty of salt, plenty of pep. Always, always make that mistake. Lids on. Bit of chili, oh, a lot of chili. Yeah. And then the Lindley twist is some uh, garlic salt because I love garlic. You just can't have enough garlic on seafood, in my opinion. So I just pop it in there, too easy. Next step, vegetable oil. Use this for squid. So let's do that. Where we are. Oh, focus. Yep. So you kind of want a shallow frame, so you want a fair bit of oil. Obviously, shallow frying is a bit easier inside on a pan, but no one wants to cook inside on a hot day like this. This is lunch, by the way. It's the next day. It's my lunch, along with some fish. I haven't done bought not caught this whole trip so far, so keeping it going with the caught not bought. And happy about it. Mm -mm. Right. Let me get a taste through this. Simple, easy, salt, pepper, squid recipe. Bloody flies. That is how I like it. Mm, that's good. 
That's so easy for squid. Absolutely great recipe. Just give that a go. Too simple. Obviously, some people would have, but you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Ah, it's been a cool video. Something chill. Go out, check the scenes. Dive in some amazing water. That just keep me frothing for ages. It makes me sad. My heart hurts that I can't do that stuff more. I wish I could, but as I say, without the cold of winter, you can't appreciate the warm of summer. Man, when I uh, do get to experience that amazing water, I do appreciate it so much and um, so thankful. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been cool up here. Still a little bit more to come, and I'm just going to lap up this Queensland sun. See you next time. I'm sure I'll see you in a hot minute.